One is Dr. Glenvo, and I am really, really excited about this guest. Um, you guys, uh, you guys asked for her, and I was excited that you did. Dr. Chitra Durgam, Chitra, what's up? Hey, thank you so much, Glenn, for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, I, well, thank you for coming on because you know you're going to be talking about something that um, I've, it's been on my radar, but I really I have to admit I don't know it too well, and that's Amazon Alexa skills. So right. we're going to dive into that. And, you know, for those, if you guys can hear us, you know, type in the comments, section, say what's up. You know, if you want, just uh, you, you can type in the comment section, Amazon. But, you know, before we get into that, um, I want to learn a little bit more about you here. I've been part of the group and I've seen you in other groups as well. Um, tell us about your practice. How long have you been practicing for? Where are you located? All that good stuff. Cool. So like I have been practicing for 16 years in private practice. I've been a dentist for 20 long time. Uh, I practice in North Bergen, New Jersey in private practice. And, you know, I've always been really, really interested in dentistry from a young age. And when I started private practice, I realized there's so many things that you can do that dentistry affords us to do in addition to just being um, a dentist. And so I've been, I'm in my podcast room right now. Um, <laughs> we do so, a lot of work on social media, particularly TikTok. And uh, through my practice and through the work that I've done, I've been also um, able to do a lot of humanitarian work. We did uh, mouth guards with Snoop Dogg's uh, football team in LA for special needs children. So I feel like I've uh, already lived like a full life within dentistry and I'm, I'm really eager to like give back as well now. Well, you know, and I'm, I'm so glad that you led with all that because, you know, you have so much to share and there's so many different people out there. Some people are jumping on here because they're, they're curious about Amazon Alexa, you know, skills. And then they're, they're, they're also on here because they see that you're an entrepreneur. They see that you're involved in so many things. And I love the fact that you're doing that because it's okay, guys, if you have other passions, right? Like we're all dentists here and that's our day job. We love dentistry too. But as you can see with Dr. Chitra here, She's, yeah, she's a dentist, but she's doing some other cool things. We just literally found out that we were on like a, like a live stream with this other influencer. We had that in common there. And so I love it. I love the fact that you're doing that. Let me ask you this, because I, I have to ask you this and just being involved in those different things. Is that something that's always been a part of your personality or is that something that's developed that over the years? Yeah, it actually has been um, a part of my personality from a young age. I always try to stand out. When I was young on the debate team, I used to wear like this purple suit to school. <laughs> um, and I would actually bring a briefcase to debate class. Like I didn't care what anybody thought at that time because I was just trying to like pave my own path. And so I used to always go into my father's uh, den and look at all his business magazines that he had. And um, over time, I just realized like, this is very interesting. I knew I liked dentistry, but I realized also that you can be an entrepreneur within dentistry. And so as time went on, I actually did a lot of work in, uh, you know, just in terms of within dentistry, but I also had a lot of jobs on the side where I was learning about the process of building a business and what is good and what is not good. And I was even a dental assistant when I was in dental school. And so all this time I've uh, been honing my skills to try to figure out what is it that I like? How do I want to use my skills um, to its best abilities? And uh, it's really been a, a great treat all these years. Yeah, I love that. Oh, so normally I'll save this kind of like the advice segment. I normally have an advice segment that I get everyone to talk, but you know, we're going to do it a little sooner because I think the timing is right here. So for someone who's watching right now, and they're thinking about doing different things, right? And maybe maybe there's naysayers out there like, hey, why don't you just stay in your lane? Just be a dentist, right? Or why are you doing all these other things? You should be happy what you have, right? If someone who's hearing all those naysayers and they want to do something more, what is your advice to that person who's listening to you right now? I always feel like fear is what stops people. And I always think to myself, what is the worst case scenario that's going to happen? You do social media, you're on a TikTok, and everybody thinks you're being silly and you should be a serious dentist. Well, you have to decide for yourself, are you within the board regulations? If you're doing things according to what needs to be done on your end, don't try to necessarily copy what other people are doing. See within your own abilities whether you're doing the right thing. And don't let 
you know, preconceived notions dictate it. So I was one of the first people on TikTok and I took that risk. Nobody else was doing like the silly videos that I was doing. <laughs> hey, and hey guys, time, man, I love those videos. You gotta check it out. I love her videos. Thank you. But originally it was musically, it was a completely different app. And you know, the risk that I took was rewarded. I ended up being in Gary Vaynerchuk's book, crushing it because of the work that I did. And that would not have happened if I wouldn't have tried. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen, who's watching. And one person can really take your career to the next level just because of the connection you made on being on social media. And I've made so many connections just from the work that I've done because people are coming to me based on my content. Yeah. It's not the other way around. And so. I just would advise everyone, just jump in, try different things, see what you like. And even if you're 60 years old, you know, this is not a time where you have to hold back. Really try to pursue your passions. We only live one life, right? I love that. And I love what you just said, kind of starting off when you were making that answer is like, well, what could happen, right? Like yeah. you're, no one's going to come and, and, and beat you up right. if you do that, right? You're not going to, you're, you're not going to, you're not going to get, unless you're, unless you're doing something illegal, right? Because we, we, right. we can talk about the guy on the hoverboard all day long, but let's not bring him back up. He's, he's gotten beaten up enough that Dennis on the hoverboard, but like, as long as you're doing things that are ethical, you're not going to get in trouble. Okay. What's the worst that happen? You have a couple of people that say, oh, you look like a dork or something. Who right. cares? Right. Who cares, right? Right. Right. That message. And like I said, I normally end with that, but I just felt like what you were saying there, we need to get that message right out right now. But right. look, let's talk about what I am looking forward to. And that is the Amazon Alexa skills. So, all right, all right. You're going to have to humor me here. And for those who um, for those who are excited about it, type in the comment section, Amazon there. But look, uh, I already warned you. I don't know too much about it. So you're just going to have to dumb it down. Hopefully a bunch of you guys don't know it. You'll learn something new here. So, Chief Thur, first of all, let's start with this. What got you excited about it and what got you and what are you using how are you use it in your practice i think that's a lot of us we want to know how does that relate how's that work in our practice so let's start with what got you interested yeah i actually was approached by two entrepreneurs who wanted to develop a, a voice skill for the dat and the invde for dental exams and so for the past year and a half we've been uh working on that, developing this skill. And we have a podcast that's already out on Spotify that people can listen to, but it basically gives a question and gives the answer. And as I was doing more research on voice skills from that point, I realized like this is a burgeoning area that we all need to jump onto because the next 10 years is all gonna be about voice. And whether you're not interested, your patients are, so it's important to really understand it. And so all this time when I was doing that, I ended up meeting with a developer. He was telling me more about voice skills. We, I did a lot of research on my own. Basically all my free time is, is spent on voice. And the developer um, ended up deciding to work with me and we're now providing voice skills for celebrities as well as for businesses. And that's how I've learned more and more over time about voice because I, I joined with this developer on that project. And I've now used it to de develop my own personal branding voice skill for my office, which is called Dr. Durgum. It's currently in beta, but this enables me to not only um, do like FAQs, but it lets people know more about my office myself, um, question and answer through audio, as well as photos and video. So this uh -huh. is one thing people don't realize is that Amazon Alexa, Google Home, any of the voice assistants, that you have are these devices that we have, you can do a lot with them. Um, you can use them with the Fire TV on your television. There's Alexa enabled um, dishwashers now. Um, there's Alexa enabled cars now. So this is like, for instance, when you're looking at the internet and you have a website. Now, if I have a voice assistant, which is like Amazon Alexa, yeah. I have a voice skill on it. So it's you know equitable to like a website on the internet. And you can basically have a menu on your voice skill, letting people know what you're offering. They uh, initiate that voice skill and then they go down a rabbit hole of information about you. And the main thing is, you know, you just keep it interesting for people to understand more about you. So it's about keeping it updated, keeping the information relevant. And uh, just like you're cutting edge, Glenn, this is cutting edge. So a lot of people don't know about it. And you're giving everybody the scoop here. 
Well, I'll tell you what, that's why I wanted to bring you on. I was excited. So, okay, so I'm going to take a couple of steps back. So I, my brain's already like just going 100 miles per hour, <laughs> all the opportunities. But I'm going to bring it back to uh, what most of us use Amazon Alexa for. I'm going to use, look, guys, uh, look, you can use Siri, you can use whatever you want. I'm just going to use Alexa because literally, I'm trying not to say it too loud because the Alexa will go off over here. I literally have an Alexa on my desk here. I, I use, so I would go like, hey, Alexa, turn on, you know, turn on the lights or Alexa, turn on the background or Alexa, do this, right? Like I would do a voice command there. So with the Alexa, uh, you know, skills here, the Amazon Alexa skills here, is that kind of related to that? Like I, I know that yeah. I'm trying to kind of, we all understand like using the voice, right? But is that kind of related to that? And how could that, like what would we have in our practice then? Right. So let me um, just mention, first of all, so voice assistants are like those devices that you have. So the Amazon Echo, um, any of the dots that you have, um, the Fire TV, I would also put within that. So if you can see, we even have smart speakers. So you can have a speaker just in the wall that gives information. So that just kind of gives you an, a, like a foundation of how ubiquitous this can be. It's really yeah. everywhere. And then how you can use it in your office is exactly how you were mentioning. So now most people use it really, if you're, if you're being honest, they use it for weather and yeah. getting like homework questions answered or they'll use it for music, right? Music, my kids all the time. Like, right, uh, it's so limited in how people are using it. There is a skill out right now by Gimlet called Chompers which allows people to learn how to brush their teeth. For instance, kids, it goes through like, um, tongue twisters, it goes through riddles. And so a child can have the echo and practice brushing their teeth with this because it's gamified. It gives you the number of days that you've been on the app. So basically what you're going to do is just like you do with everything else, the way you're going to initiate it is say is basically say enable chompers. And then you have to go through the parental or whatever and get through it. And then you start using it. The same way you would do that, you would do that with your skill. So if my skill is called Dr. Durgum, I'm going to say, hey, Alexa, open Dr. Durgum. And then it's going to go right into all the menu of the different items that you want to talk to the person about. It's going to say, hey, welcome back. Uh, would you like to know more about my office? Would you like to know more about whitening? Would you like to see some photos of before and after of some work that I did recently? Um, and then say feedback if you want some other information. And so you really get pretty much guided through the skill. And it opens up a whole um, amount of information that you could really use for your audience. I, I love that, I'm really excited. Okay, so I'm gonna throw out a couple of like concepts here, okay? Uh -huh. and you could say, since you're the expert, you can say, uh, Glenn, that doesn't work like that, okay? It doesn't work like that. Uh -huh. For example, could you, could you have a skill where, um, like you could say, uh, Alexa, play Dr. Vo's post-op instructions. You couldn't do like, that. Like, oh, so sorry. It, My Alexa's going off right now. She's I didn't, I'm not sure what you're saying. Because <laughs> you know what? I haven't taught you the skill yet. But like, I'm wondering, like, could you just blurt out something and the Alexa could just like respond to the, like the patient or something, you know? I, I don't know. Could you it could work do like that. that. And that's exactly what I would say. So I would, I would really recommend everyone have a personal brand skill for themselves so people could learn about them and then one for the practice. And then for the practice, that's exactly what we would do is have an area for post-op instructions. But if the only skill is for post-op instructions, I'd recommend doing what's called a flash briefing, mm -hmm. which is very simple. And it's just, you know, gives you just that information. And it's very clear. If you want to kind of give a lot of information about the office, like office hours, directions to your office, post-op instructions, um, you know, you want to go over videos, possibly training videos for your staff. You could include all of those. And you know, now it's been accelerated because of COVID-19. People are interested in touchless interactions. So that's even more critical in the dental office to be able to do it. All right, Chitra. So I'm going to give you another dumb question here. Okay. Another dumb question. Guys, if you have any questions, question. type in the comments section and we'll try to get your questions there. So I got another dumb question here. I'm thinking like, okay, pretty much everyone has an Amazon Alexa, right? Everyone has that Echo Dot. You know, you get it at Black Friday. It's only like 29 bucks. Everyone has <laughs> one, right? So I'm wondering, like, if I created something, like a skill or something, 
maybe it's like post-op instructions, right? You know, we right. tell our patients, okay, follow this here. Here's a piece of paper to all this stuff. Call me if you have questions. And you know what happens? Uh, they lose the paper. They still don't know what's going on. They call you, right? But wouldn't it be awesome if they got home or you would just say, hey, uh, Mrs. Jones, you got a, you got an Amazon Alexa at home? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Well, uh, you know what? Just give us a shout out and just say, hey, Alexa, uh, I want Denton Smiles Dentistry, Post Op Insurance, blah, blah, blah. Could you set something like that so that someone somewhere else, yeah. home, they can access that information? Yes, exactly right. That's exactly oh you're, you're way ahead of the curve here. That's exactly right. So that skill that you can use in your office, which you can also use on your Alexa app on your phone. So anyone would have it, right? You don't have to just expect the patient to have the device. They have it on their phone. They can just download the app. So you have access to this anywhere. So that information is, like I said, it's almost like a website for voice. Just like within websites, just within um, the internet, you can do voice SEO. You can optimize your skill within Alexa so more people find it in your particular area by making it geo-specific. Hey, if I asked you, Glenn, before, would you want to be one of the first people on the internet, the first person to have a website? What would you have said? Uh, yeah. So that's almost like where we are right now with voice. So you're going to be able to have that optimization and let people, people will really find out about you. The attention is not there. Nobody's really doing voice skills now. Like I said, you're pretty cutting edge by having this today with this live. So if people start developing skills, they'll be one of the first to have it. They can even advertise on their own skill. So other local businesses within your town may choose to advertise your skill or you can advertise on their skill eventually. And wow. so it really opens up a lot of possibilities. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited about this. And, and to be <laughs> honest, uh, I, I kind of know the answer, but I'm going to ask you this question uh, anyways. Um, you feel that this is kind of like the future of where everything's going, voice? Yes, for sure. I mean, if anyone owns a Tesla, you'll probably also see within Tesla was ahead of its time with so much uh, voice um, of capabilities within it and it's constantly updating and that's the benefit because you can constantly update voice as opposed to other things pretty easily and also you can get feedback so you can learn a lot about your audience because you're getting feedback based on how they're navigating your skill and so many people have talked about voice being the future for various reasons but I would say the fact that Amazon and Google are so bullish on it and continue to put a lot of money into it tells you it's here to stay. In 2022, they expect 56% of households will have voice in their house. Wow. And a lot of people, particularly seniors, who don't have manual dexterity are using these devices to get companionship even. Kids yeah. can even use it. So that just tells you if it's that easy to use, it's gonna be easily adopted. So I always tell people, if you don't wanna use it, that's fine, but everybody else is. So you need to really evaluate this, how you can use it in your own way of practicing. I love it. Guys, if you like what you're hearing right now, type in the, forget typing in Amazon. Type in Chitra. She's bringing the knowledge. <laughs> I mean, she's bringing it. Type in the comment section if you like what, what you're hearing there. So I'm going to go, I'm going to shift gears a little bit because if everyone is like me, I'm just thinking, okay, how do I, I want to learn this stuff like now. Like I, I, I want to learn. So what are some resources right now um, for people who want to learn how to do this? Is it, is it, available on the net? Is it something you just got to tinker around with? Or where, 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 for a newbie, for a newbie like me, what's the best way to start? Right. So to learn about voice in general, um, I am constantly posting on my Instagram and Twitter about um, what is new in voice. Um, there's a newsletter that comes out um, this week in voice that's really helpful by um, Bradley Metrock on Twitter. He's a really big uh, leader in our industry. And so there's um, these areas. There's also VoiceBot AI for people who are interested in learning about that. And um, I'm also doing skills within my company, um, which is called um, Local Vocal. It's asklocalvocal.com. And so basically, if people are interested in learning more about doing voice, getting involved in it, they can do that. I'm also on uh, the platform community. So if people text me at 201-833-9233, I'm starting to send out texts to people regarding voice so that they can learn more about it. I love it. I love it. And guys, you know what? You can uh, you can do the hard way. You can go take some of those resources or you can just go to the, 
the expert herself. She's right here yeah. she's in our group. You can go there, local vocal there. But you know what? Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. I'm just gonna put you on the spot. Uh-oh. Uh, honestly, I think we need it in dentistry, and so. Chitra, you're gonna you're gonna have to now the cat's out of the bag. We all know you're the expert on this. You've been you're passionate about it. You love it. You see the value in it. And you know what? I'm just gonna put some pressure on you, um, guys. You can always reach out to her. It's local vocal, but maybe she'll come up with something for dental. And when you do, Chitra, when you do, because I'm pushing you over the edge here. When you do, you're gonna have to announce it in my group. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're doing it now with um, Local Vocal. We're creating definitely um, voice skills for all dentists and all doctors. But what is really interesting about, you know, being here on Nifty Thrifty is that if you were to come and talk to us on text or come and talk to us through our website, we're going to give them a Nifty Thrifty discount for just doing that. I love it. I love it. And guys, before you get too excited about the Nifty deal, you're going to have to wait because we still have so much more stuff to talk about. So when we talk about the, you know, we led this with Amazon Alexa skills, right? Um, but really when you were, when we're talking about skills, it doesn't matter if it's Amazon Alexa, it could be any of these other platforms. Is that correct? Or is it only for Amazon? So you can use different devices. So you can use Google home. You mm-hmm. could use Amazon Alexa. Apple has a version. Um, there was Cortana at one point. So everybody, there's about four or five in the market right now, and they're kind of competing and not necessarily working together. The interesting thing, and I'm glad you brought this up, is that each one seems to have better um, capabilities in different areas. So for instance, Google seems to be doing really well with search. Yeah. If you ask a lot of specific questions, you can get better answers with Google. I find that Amazon Alexa tends to be really good on the entertainment side. And uh, a lot of people obviously have it because they get their packages on a regular basis. (laughs) So I tend to go where the consumers are going, regardless of the fact that actually I think Google's kind of like leading the pack in terms of accuracy. So, um, you know, Amazon's where it's at right now. Yeah. You know, the thing is, is that they're really smart, right? They got us hooked on... um, Amazon Prime, right? So we're like, okay, we're a Prime member and we got to use it. You know, we, we got to use our, our membership, right? And then whenever they have the Black Friday, they totally give like the, the biggest hookups on the Echoes, right? And the Echo Dots. And you're like, it's so cheap, but I can give this guy like a cheap gift and it's really valuable to him. So almost every house has a device. Like, yeah, I, you know, like literally, I want to say I have six Amazon devices. Kind of you know what's amazing, Glenn? Like, think about it. If you have a practice, what about putting your brand logo on the Echo device? If you got it on one of these Amazon days where they give them for like $19, you put your actual logo on it and gave it to like your best patients, yeah. the top 20%, and told them, hey, you know, initiate my skill. I want you to learn more about me. And they just make it go viral. I mean, there's so many things that you can do given how this information can be broadcast, it's unbelievable. I mean, your patient would go around and say, I have the coolest dentist ever. Yes. They're on Alexa, right? Like even though they're on Alexa, I mean, it's like a celebrity there. I I love it. I love it. So let's, um, what are you using? I know you mentioned a couple of things with your practice. Um, what, what, What is like in the future for you as far as like, pushing the envelope in the Amazon Alexa skill. Like what, 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 are, what's on your like radar right now? Like, like I want to do this, you know, what, what is that right now? Right. I mean, right now, uh, my main thing within the voice skills, um, is really doing voice skills for celebrities. So we're really taking it in terms of celebrities, you know, they're able to easily convert their social media profile to a voice skill and move it over. And so if they have 2 million, 3 million, 4 million people on Instagram, that kind of virality is very easy. And basically offering premium content on voice skills where people are actually paying for it. Yeah. And uh, then the celebrities are also earning money because of that and also doing streaming um, within. So like, whether we partner with some other streaming company and they're able to come in and do different events for celebrities because, you know, celebrities can't do concerts right now. They can't go out and do a book um, tour. So when you can do something in your own uh, apartment and you have the backdrop and you can stream and sell tickets, that's the future. And so with celebrity skills, I mean, they're going to be 
paying a bit more because their skills are more robust. But I mean, there's so many possibilities with that. And that's kind of where I see myself more in the future. Yeah, I love that. Um, wouldn't it be cool if somehow it could work with your like practice management software or something? Who knows? You're right. There's always an opportunity there. But I just imagine just, you know, walking into an op and just saying uh, open chart and doing all that stuff. And who knows? You know, I mean, it's like what's going on right now with what you can. I mean, literally, my kids would would you know, my, my son said, hey, play the Jumanji 2 theme song, right? And I looked, I'm like, what? And it played it. Like, I was shocked. I was shocked. I was like, what? How did it find that? But it's like, it it, it, it surprises me all the time. And it only makes yeah. sense that it's getting into other parts of a, a business in our life yeah. and industry. We totally should do that. So, okay. Um, I'm super excited. I, I just I, wanted I, to bring up one point so really quick, because you bring up so many excellent excellent points. Like you're really ahead of this and you don't even realize it. You know, there are people who are actually right now working on dental software that incorporates voice, but it doesn't include, let's say Google home or Alexa. It's its own private voice um, skill within the actual software. And that's the benefit because obviously you don't have to worry about privacy in that sense. You don't have to worry about who's getting the information. So for perio charting, that's already on the horizon for charting. It's starting to come up. So you bring up, um, you're bringing up the future there. Well, you know, it's, uh, I mean, we, we always talk, I mean, who would have thought that you could just walk into a room and say, um, you know, uh, play, you know, a certain song, right? Just to scream it out and it starts playing it, right? I mean, it's like, it's just totally changed the way we do, we, we live our life. And in dentistry, that's the one thing about dentistry that sometimes frustrates me. It seems like we're, we're always behind everyone, right? We're always behind. We're the slowest person yeah. in the job. And like something like this, you totally should, at least in your practice, like for entertainment purposes, if you want, you know, like playing music and whatnot there. Okay. So um, I'm sure if you guys are excited as I am, uh, you're probably wondering like, okay, how do I join this group with Chitra and learn more? How does that work? How, so if someone wants to kind of learn more and want to work with you, what are the first steps? So I would uh, recommend to people to consider joining our Facebook group, Local Vocal, because we're talking about voice there. So any of the new articles that are coming out, we're posting it there. So that's a great way to learn. Also on Amazon, they have a lot of information talking about voice skills. Some of the, the bigger people that are really into voice right now, Gary Vaynerchuk, Mark Cuban, um, give a lot of information as well regarding voice and their opinion. And so... For me, you know, what I'm trying to do is create a text platform so yeah. people can not every day, but once in a while get information about uh, voice because I want to make sure our profession is, you know, taken care of. I mean, there's lots of people who are losing business right now. A yeah. lot of business is closing. A lot of people that are coming after small business. And I want to be someone that can help small business, give them the tools that big businesses are using, but not have to pay the same cost. I love it. That's the nifty thrifty way. I love it. I love it. Um, so I also, so obviously joining the Facebook group there. And of course, when you are ready to do something that's dental specific or something, you're going to have to announce it here first, right? Of course. I love it. I love it. Guys, again, if you like what you're hearing, type in the comments section. You can do, I asked Amazon, but we got to do Chitra now because she's really bringing it here. So before we jump off here, Chitra, I just want to give you kind of like the last word here. Um, what is your, uh, we are, you already gave some amazing advice in the beginning, right? But let's, let's, let's kind of focus it more on the Amazon Alexa skills here, right? What is your advice to someone who's listened to it and you just inspired them and they're like, okay, I want to start learning more about it. What would you say to them? So I would say right now in COVID, during COVID-19, I feel like a lot of us, when I'm looking at Facebook group, Facebook group and the comments people are making, I see a lot of us spending about 80% of our time being defensive, trying to be on the defense, trying to make sure that certain things don't happen about our employees, like how are we going to take care of them? I think as a profession that we need to start being more proactive, take things on the offense. When the dust clears in two years, where is our profession going to be? Where are we as practice owners going to have our practice? Because we want to make sure that we're constantly developing value for our, for our viewers, for our fans, and for our clients. And so if you want to do that, it's important to be involved in doing marketing. Look for the new platforms. Make sure you're on social media. Be proactive. 
Make sure that everybody knows what's your next steps within your office and stay on the cutting edge in terms of technology. Do not, you know, like try to scale back too much that you have a shell of a practice than you did before all of this COVID-19 happened. And the way to do that is one way to do that, I should say, is to do voice skills. Develop yeah. your own voice skills. Hold your actual voice skill um, domain. So even if you don't want to do a skill right now, at least get the name and capture that so that you are, you know, when people are asking about you, it's not going to another dentist in your town. It's not going to a Wikipedia listing because that's what's going to happen if you don't do it. Wow. You want to make sure to capture your spot. And now's the time to do it because very few people are on it. Definitely need to look for um, areas where there's no attention, where people are, are not having as much saturation. And that's where voice is at. So Again, I, let, I really encourage everybody, you know, contact me on text 201-833-9233. Just give me a tooth emoji. I'll be happy to give you any information you want. I just want to make sure like we're taken care of as a profession. And I think I'm so like clear on this path. Like I'm usually, you know, when I look at something, if I know it's going to really change things, it's going to change things. And this is where voice is going to help our profession a lot. I... Guys, if you aren't hyped up after that, I don't know what you 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 need to drink some coffee or something. I am so <laughs> pumped up about that. I I am like ready to go. Chita, thank you so much for jumping on, and we're definitely gonna bring her back. I mean, this topic is so it's so huge. We're definitely gonna bring you back, and hopefully, we bring, hopefully when we bring you back, you, you're gonna announce like, hey, look, I got this course for dentists and all that. You know, I'm gonna push you over the edge and get you to do that because you got so much to share. But thank you so much for jumping on. I thank you. It. I appreciate it, Glenn. Thanks so much, everybody. All right. See you guys later.